Uh, hi there, and uh, welcome to the first episode of a new game. Well, new, but you know, new for us. Uh, Alan Wake uh, remastered, as it were. Um, like I mentioned before, uh, you probably noticed I haven't been doing many of the Read Chain of Memory videos lately, and well, if you've been, if you've watched those videos, you probably know about my uh, frustration with that game and how it just isn't that fun to play, if I'm being quite honest with you. Uh, so, I was wanting to try something out, something new, different, um, just to see where, you know, where, where it leads us. Like I said, uh, and, I mean, I've heard a lot of good things about Alan Wake. Uh, I have sampled the game a little bit, as you can see. Um, just because just, 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 just I want to get, like, a basic feel for the controls and the, the premise and such. But, uh, for the purposes of this, you know, let's play, obviously, I'm going to be starting over. Uh, and I didn't get, I, I didn't get that far, so, you know, don't need to worry about that. But yeah, um, I'm hoping this is something I can do. It's not a, I don't think it's a super long game, as far as I know, so, you know, it shouldn't, it shouldn't occupy us, you know, too long. But I thought it would be, some, it would be good to have something that I could upload that wasn't Rechain of Memories, because I, I... The game really is starting to starting to frustrate, but yeah, um, let's just uh, d d dive right in. You know, if it, it, I don't know, it, it, this might not be super conducive to a good let's play, and you know, if not, then if it is, if it isn't, then who knows? But for now, let's just like dive right in and, and, and see how it goes. Now, like I said, I do this first few bit, first like chapter or so. I, you know, uh, I am basically familiar with. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and is what we'll remember in the end. I would generally agree with that sentiment. I'm a writer. Yep, and there he is. Alan Wake, roll, roll credits, you know, yada yada. But yeah, I do think that's a pretty good uh, quote from Stephen King slash Alan Wake. Oh, sorry, I should let him speak. dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. Hey, it's a lighthouse. So yes, it began with a dream. Well, it didn't end. It didn't end with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach Night my springs. destination. A lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I've been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Holy fuck, that dude's dead as hell. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. Yeah, clearly. Are you, like, actually guilty? Is, is this part uh, it really just a dream? Or is he, like, actually guilty of murder? I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. I hope this part was just a dream. <laughs> but yeah, you got bigger problems to fr Yeah, you got bigger fish to fry than that. Suddenly, his body was gone. And so it was. Episode 1 was shock Nightmare. Crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Yeah, I mean, crashes are pretty disorienting, from my understanding. It's me, God. Uh, uh, Alan Wake. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, are you there, Alan? It, it's me, God. <laughs> uh, don't want to reverse my controls. Uh, n no, not really. I, I mean, I just, I'm sure it's probably better for some people, but I've always wondered how that was supposed to be like a... Changing your, you know, changing your, the way your camera works was supposed to help people. Uh, let's see, hold on one to sprint. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't there something back here? I was uh, certain I had just driven from this direction, but now the road was blocked. Well, that's spooky. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Hey, look, it's me. It's my favorite things. Myself, my car. And my dozens of copies of my own books. I, I thought it was a fucking. Th I guess one of the thermos here, but yeah, guess I guess not. It has been a little bit. 
Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I can examine. The radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, I mean, the, the, uh, I guess not. I guess not. And we still got. Well, oh well. It's probably, it's probably probably best to just walk. But yeah, what I was saying before, uh, I do think that that quote that Stephen King, that Alan Wake was quoting as from Stephen King, is pretty generally reasonable. Like in horror stories, I, I do find that like when you try to overly explain something, it usually either comes off as unnecessary at best or just like dumb. Or, or even at least when it makes sense or it works, you know, when you have like a, a, a full explanation of something, then it kind of takes the uh, unexpected horror nature of it out, you know. I think I, I think most the bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. I, I don't know. I, I I just think most horror stories are better served when the explanations are minimal. I mean, let's look at like Dawn of the Dead or uh, Night of the Living Dead, rather, you know, or either either movie really. They they don't well, Night of the Living Dead has a dumb uh, radiation from Saturn or whatever, but Dawn of the Dead had a really like poetic explanation about why the dead were rising, and you know that works as good as any like f physical explanation. So, oh yeah, also you can jump with the square or with uh, X rather. Anyway, enough fucking around. I just, I just wanted to share that I, I, I agree with that point. Hey, what the fuck? Oh my! Okay, I knew that was gonna, okay. I knew that was gonna happen, but what can I say? I'm a jumpy guy. Copy a supply. Guys, we do you, Ryder. You think you're God? You think you're just oh, oh, fuck! Oh God! I need to be careful. I mean, fictional people aren't real, so... Okay, that's a little rude. I mean, I don't know. You, you seem pretty cool. I could have sworn there was a thermos here somewhere, but I guess not. Oh, what's it? Ooh. No, that's, that's nothing. Okay, enough. enough, enough, enough. I, I gotta be careful. Oh god, I just ran into a pole. See, missing. M <laughs> Gee, I wonder who that's for. <laughs> also, why is there a big daddy here? <laughs> See, yada yada, yeah. Do my hurdles. Yeah, clearly I could have been in the Olympics if I wasn't such a great author. Can dodge? Okay, this part. This part kind of got me before, but. I can do it. I I, I I got practice. Fuck! You can't stop me. Wait, well done. I just got hit. What are you talking about? Well done. Ah, ha ha. Yeah, just call I me fuck. Realized that the oh. hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Yeah, they kind of made that clear when he said, "Look upon my work in despair." Uh, let's see. Hey, I love self-opening fences. That's my favorite. Wait, uh, hmm. There's really not a thermos here. First one, there was a thermos somewhere on this stage. I guess I, I, guess I can't jump back over it. Either way, it's one thing to, like, imagine being criticized by your own, like, the characters in your own books that your writing is bad. Like, that feels like a low blow. Mm. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Um. 
well, uh, okay, 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 never mind, I was gonna say something stupid, but I, 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 I try to just run. I don't know, uh, you make sure to ask Victor Frankenstein about how he feels about that. Okay, don't need to start coughing up a lung, uh, Alan. You just ran like five feet. Uh, come on, pal. Yeah. This way, this way. Let me let me just catch my breath, okay? Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, God. Over here. Whoa, you're my my, my best friend, Clay Stewart. Sure, okay. Oh no. Bro, open the door, let him in. Stop. No! Damn it, die! No, no! Damn, Al, you could open the door for your fucking homie, Clay Stewart. The the greatest guy we uh, we've ever known. Hey, it's a guy, a guy with an eye. Try to get get out of here. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. I wish I knew who that was. Cause if this is a dream, is this like Alan's own subconscious or whatever? Okay, fair enough. something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? Not especially, no. Yeah, see? You can't, you can't just like, quote fucking a book, a book at someone and expect them to be like, oh yeah. I, I, I've totally been there before, you know. I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. So who, who, but again, I, I, I don't know. Who, who is this guy? How, how did he enter my dream? I mean, That's I appreciate it. No but like, also... Thermos, though? Must follow me now. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. Oh yeah. Can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. So it does. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Yeah, like Kingdom Hearts. Take the light. Okay. Oh boy, my my heavenly flashlight. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Kaka. Let there be light, as they say. Insert battery. Did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Ooh, my heavenly gun. I'm my favorite. Now you'll die. All right. Uh. Okay. Is there it? Okay. Well. This this tutorial part is pretty easy, so I I, I don't need to fuck fuck around. Well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. 
I will give you back your dream now. You could you wake me up? <laughs> In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Really, a, a single lighthouse was the only type safe place on Earth? I wonder. Wait, let me just, uh... Yeah, take that, you motherfucker. Let me reload. Other than that? Hmm, let me just look around a bit. Now that things have chilled out. Hmm. I guess there wasn't a thermos here. You made me this way, and now I'm gonna kill you. Bro, I already killed you once. Oh. I already killed you once. How many times do you, get, do you need to die? Uh. Reload. Like, what, are there just multiple, like, is that just a trope of Alan's work? Where, like, hitchhikers just, uh, he just kills hitchhikers off really early and often. And then in the, in the darkness, it's just an elf. Oh. Uh, come on. Okay. Hey, where'd he go? Oh, there's two of them. Okay, right, right. Duh. Okay, nice, nice. Also, I wish there was a... I don't know if there is, like... Is there's a way that you can aim, like, you know, like this, but without using a flashlight? Because, you know, you, you have limited batteries and such. Open... Flare gun ammo, sick. And a flare drone. That's, like, super light. Oh, God. But yeah, maybe they're just like an army of evil hitchhikers that Alan Wake, Alan Wake's killed and uh, now they've come to get revenge. Uh, I don't know, I don't like spooky noises. Just like oh, oh really? Really now? Uh, Spa! Yeah, fucking... Oh baby, a triple, am I right? Yeah, just call me fucking Alan uh, No Scope uh, Wake. Uh, I know there's definitely, I know there's a thermos somewhere here. Excuse me, who? Oh. Boom. Boom. Bada bang. Oh, oh wait, no, the, okay. You know what, I'm just gonna run. They're not even that cool. I don't want to spend so much time with them anyway. Bro, I've killed you like five times. Can you just leave me alone? Uh... Okay, I, I tried to run. Oh boy, it's like it's, it's a platformer now. Oh, okay. No, get, don't, don't you dare die. That's where you can barely you can't, you can't walk that far without uh, getting winded, can you, uh, Alan, my boy? Oh, no thermos here. Yeah, did it. Yeah, I can't get in here. This place is all about light. And, you know, uh, Kingdom Hearts is... It's, it's really light. <laughs> you know? Also, it's funny that I, I went from playing one game all about light and darkness to a second game also about light and darkness. Man, the more things change, the more they see the same, am I right? Easy. Yeah, you know it. Alan, wake up. 
That's my name. Don't wear it out. Shh, baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. <laughs> Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Yeah, we're here. Welcome to Bright Falls. What a love, what a nice mountain. It's very, uh, very scenic. By the way, can I just like okay, I, I, okay, yeah, let's so double check. I don't think it's one of those games where you can just save wherever you want. You got to try and get to a checkpoint. And I know this is a checkpoint, but yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I can keep going a little bit longer. I mean, I I, I just did a tutorial chapter. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Haha, <laughs> got him. But first, let me explore. I want to see if there's any thermoses. Yo, what it do? Yo, what it do? What, what's up, man? How's it going? Let's see who has the last laps. Bro, I didn't. Okay. Too. Yeah, whatever. I didn't. I never even met you before. How can you be mad at me for? What do you, what do you mean mad at me about? I thought there was a thermos here. What the fuck? Ah. Okay, fine. Let's pose next to the old guy. Hi. Hey, old guy. Mind if I use you as as, as a photo Hello, opportunity? You picked a good time to visit our town. Deer fest is just two weeks away. Boy, I love deers. Deer fest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? I should probably look at her while she's taking photos. If you don't mind me saying, I'm Are you fucking coming on to my wife? Are you fucking coming on to my wife? I'm Ellen Wake. Hmm. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. Oh, are you? This isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, uh, Mr. Mayor, fuck no. I'm on vacation. In fact. I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be Mr. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Ah, uh, thanks. Here, oh, look at that. We're almost, uh, in port. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. Made a friend. That's cute. Yeah, right. yeah, friends, friends, friends. Yeah. Go. Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got it. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Yeah, we, just, we just got just here. Settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Yeah. You know he's That's going to be Barry. calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What yeah, I don't need them. Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. How oh, does he? You seem like a disagreeable chap, that's all I'm going to say. Anyway, let's get back to the car. Yeah, let's get out of this fucking boat, Perry. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. 
Colin. Thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Yeah, I, 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 that's the face of someone who's gonna behave and promises to do so. I've forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome Wait. to the Odier Diner. I, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking Mr. for. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, Dude, I guess I, I guess I know that I was coming. Fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Who, who told them I was coming anyway? I'm looking for Mr. Stucky. Carl Stucky. Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. Oh boy. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. Oh, right, right. Well, okay. Good for you. Yeah, good for you indeed. Can I just... Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess I... I guess I kept some of the stuff from what I played before. Fair enough. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. I'm not too a coffee guy. Is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Oh, I bet. Yeah, that makes two of us. Oh, gross. Coffee's not even that good. I'm more, I'm more of a soda guy. Uh, right. So, so much for a quiet vacation. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. Bro, I'm just Alan Wake. I'm not like I'm fucking, uh, you know. Are you on your own, or is your wife with you? I can show you the town if you want. I get off work at six. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. Let's see. Yeah, I, I swear it's not like a talk button. Like, you, you kind of just hang around people, and then, like, after a while they'll say something, or not say something, you know? If, if you could just talk to people, that would make things a, a little easier. But, oh well. Uh, let's, let's just walk around a bit. Bright Falls recurred. UFO scare. Lights in the sky frighten populace. Local park ranger. Forest no more dangerous than usual. So, fairly dangerous then, uh, I'm guessing. He looks a guy. <laughs> let's see. Ah, Baraka to Bright Falls, the home of the annual deer fest. A whole festival for fucking deers, I guess. Do me a favor, sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. I know the feeling. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are yeah. You serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> huh. Well, although yeah, I hate. Put the lime in the coconut. Drink them both up. Shut Just up. because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. Yeah. I, I, again, normally I'd say that reaction is unjustified, but fucking. Yes. I put. Put, yeah, yeah, put the coconut. Tune. Coconut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coconut. Shut your mouth, you demented has been. If I had my hammer, I'd it shut does it that. for you. Get stuck. Jeez. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. Okay. Two number six in the jukebox. Children of the Elder God. Now, there's now that's a song what I'm talking you. about. Yes. Okay, well, that song sucks this ass. Is it. Say that song sucks ass. I, 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 I'm just doing it to be nice, but uh, but that song is bad. And if you like it, you're bad. Don't put the fucking lime in the coconut, okay? It's a shitty song. By the way, uh. Go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. Yeah, I'm a grown boy. I'm I'm, I'm 35. You don't want to die, do you? Worse. I warned Carl Stucky about it, but he didn't listen. Oh no, not Carl Stucky. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. 
That's fair. I mean, if I was... Uh, well, I mean, I like being, the idea of being famous, but actually dealing with, like, fan over your fans might be a little much, you know? Uh, let's see. Locky. Go to the, the, the bathroom. Okay, yeah, I guess, I guess he's not in that bathroom. Yo, Carl! You'd, uh, taking a, taking a shit in there, pal? I need your keys, motherfucker. Mr. Stucky? Yeah, I need them keys. Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. Ah. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Also, who the fuck are you? Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. Your I'll cabin? Later to check how you've settled in. And hmm. to meet your wife. Why do you want to meet my wife? I insist. Thanks. Okay, I feel like that, that raises more questions than that he should probably be concerned about. Like, why do you... Are you dressed for a funeral? Are you in mourning? Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. How inspiring were you talking? Okay, I guess that's all you had to say. Okay, fair enough. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I'm this sure. Be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Yeah, I mean, faulty lights are annoying. Yeah, shitty coconuts. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> Splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn, Hermia! His swell the Andersons. Oh. They're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Ah, oh, so they're senile old old coots. I see. You got anything else to add, or is that it? I'll be heading back to work as oh. soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. Oh, but I'm not looking forward to the poison we have at the park cafe. Oh, there's poison at the park cafe? Now this is what coffee should taste like. Bro, coffee's coffee. It's, it's gross. I'll swing by with the fresh cuts later on. Okay, well, uh, it's been real nice, I guess. Will you be staying oh. in town for the deer fest, Mr. Wake? The deer is dear to me. The deer, the deer is dear to me. The deer is dear to me, my dear, in more ways than one. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Huh. Uh, not really our festival. That was a weird spinning animation. <laughs> okay, well. I had the keys. Alice was outside. I didn't want to keep her waiting. Okay, fine. I'll go. Bye. Mission accomplished. Key and the directions. Absolutely. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Oh, hey. hey wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! I guess that was the Carl Stuck. I guess that was Carl Stucky. He really wasn't taking a shit, I guess. Diner was a real nut house. <laughs> yeah, weird old dudes playing shitty music. Can you Fans. And, uh, this would make a wonderful setting for a book. or a video game called Alan Wake. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay. Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. Also, wow, I feel like, I hope this copyrighted music doesn't get me, like, banned from YouTube. <sighs> it is pretty nice, I can't deny. In Dreams, Indeed, by Roy Orbison. He also sung such songs as Only the Lonely, and... Pretty woman. Gorgeous, Alan. Oh, yeah. Something all right. 
Oh, that's a checkpoint reached. So, I'll get you inside uh, safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. Nice. I know. I'm okay. Alice Good. had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Okay, you done talking? We good, Alan? Okay, cool. Okay, so we saw a checkpoint, so that's like as good a place as any to stop, I think. Don't want to, I don't I don't want these episodes being you know super duper long after all. So yeah, that was the first episode of Alan Wake. Uh, it, I know it, it's something different. Uh, I know, but you know, like I said, ho ho hopefully it'll be something that people will like. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this part of the game I am I am already familiar with. But I'm sure after a certain point, though, I'm going to be basically in the dark. So, oh, look at that, I'm in the dark. Oh, better better pack my flashlight, am I right? <sighs> but yeah. Uh, so far, like from the parts that I played, uh, the game is pretty fun. I, I, I like the story and the and the aesthetic and the and the looks and such. Uh, so so yeah, so far so so far so good. Um, but of course, we're still only on chapter one. Next episode, though, hopefully we'll be able to maybe finish chapter one, or, or I don't know, make, make progress in chapter one at least. Um, but until then, uh, I'll see you around.